your hurricane status southeaster at the moment, let me tell you. If you're Cape Townian, you'll know the pain at the moment because we have a beautiful summer. But my goodness, the wind is something else, isn't it? I think my house landed in the sea last night. Don't think it's there anymore. Guys, it was only a matter of time before I was going to be in a Chinese branded bucky, you know? This buggy segment is a highly contested one. You know, we've got like our blocks and buckies. Everyone's like Ranger, Hilux, Isuzu. But GWMP series kind of was a little bit of a cat among the pigeons, right? Like, which I think is amazing. I love that because you could not and you still cannot deny the value for money that these buckies offer. It's quite astounding. I mean, we're saying that about all the Chinese brands at the moment in, in the car market. Um, and this Bucky is the LTD one, so it's like the top of the range, I think launched last year. Um, it's sort of like, it's got like all the bells and whistles that a lot of Bucky owners are after at the moment. So it's not just the workhorse, it's not like just a, like capable off-roader, which this is, mind you. In fact, I think it does a few things better than its rival. Um, but like, I just, yeah. I do love an underdog, you know. So the thing is with this is, look, it's not without its faults, okay? So one thing I'm gonna say is the engine, right? It's a two liter turbo diesel. You get 120 kilowatts of power and 400 newton meters of torque, which is not as powerful as most of its rivals. Um, it's an eight speed automatic transmission, which is lovely, okay? I really, really, really like this. What I don't love is the lag. It is super duper noticeable. So when you're going into traffic, you know, if you're going into a traffic circle or whatever, or if you want to overtake, like it, that delay for me is not amazing. And, and it's somewhat like dangerous in a way. Like it just, I suppose you're going to get quite used to it. So then you're going to time that, right? But I just wish they would tweak that. And so that there was no lag and then it would be great. The other thing is, there's some plasticky things in here that make it look a little bit cheaper, but it has got then these like cool plush sort of side door console leathery, leathery vibes. Um, and actually overall, I think it looks pretty cool. The space is great. Space is great in the back. Only problem, it, and in fact, this isn't uh, the worst Bucky when it comes to a child seat because one of the other rivals, I was unable to get the seat into that car at all all so i wasn't able to take luca anywhere this one took me a little while it was a bit tricky but eventually got it in and again cool once you're done you're done most of the time unless you're me okay so you know that i've teamed up with naked insurance in order to bring you some education around it right well i want to see how quickly i can get a quote from their app which should take around 90 seconds i'm like sort of putting it to the test but while i'm doing that I am going to also just say to you, because guys, it's January, you need to start shopping around again. Even if you've got your insurance and you're happy with it, look around because you could get it cheaper, right? Don't always take the first, the first one. Never do that. Then also check things like excess. If your premium is really low, your excess is going to be high and often the other way around, right? So check those sorts of things. Then also see if you can bundle your insurance because I find that it's much easier to have everything in one place, which is what we've done. So our household insurance now also involves car insurance. Well, my husband's because I don't have a car. Um, okay, then the other thing is, which I find cool with Naked, is that you can make changes so easily. I don't have to phone anybody or whatever. You just like do it on the app and you get everything you need. And like literally any changes, even if you have to claim, you claim all on here. Everything's done for you. Okay. And Rose is busy helping me here, which is their bot, which super, super helpful. Let me tell you. So you just type in things like, I don't know. You, okay, guys, this is a big point for me, a big factor. You don't have to expect anything. So if you get a quote, no one's going to phone you. That is my most irritating thing. I sometimes just want to see how much it is. So which I've done. Okay. And now it's going to give me a quote. Now, now I love that part about the fact that I don't have to deal with anybody in person. I hate speaking on the phone to people and yeah. Okay. Guys, I kid you not. I got my quote. That's how flipping easy it is. Just to get one, you just download the app and check it out. Get that quote, then shop around, see if other people's are cheaper. That's fair. That's fair. So this infotainment system is okay. It's not amazing. Um, 
and you've got to do pretty much all of it in there you know everything's in there except volume button yay and climate control which i love um is not in the screen you know what i mean you can use the buttons okay but like i say all the bells and whistles you've got heated seats you've got a charging a wireless charging pad in fact i think you can remotely turn this car on i haven't tried it but that's pretty cool it's also got a plethora okay I'm not going to use that word again because it's ridiculous and I just spat. Um, but of safety features, um, they can be quite intrusive. And I think the only bugbear I have is the fact that if you want to turn them off, which you can, or you can turn like the intensity down, like say for instance, the lane centering is a little bit annoying. Um, you have to do it every time you turn the car on because it defaults back to its like highest setting. So you'd probably get used to that, get in, turn it off. Or you're not going to notice it and it won't bother you. Bugs me, but it's just me, you know? So this LTD, you'll be able to tell that it's the LTD. By, like, it's got black rims. It's got um, color-coded mirrors and stuff like that. There's some decals. Not decal, but like elements, right? Around it. But it's even got a snorkel. I don't know. What, what is it about a snorkel on a bucky which makes it look just all kinds of cool like much cooler than anything else i don't know what it is i just think that's like my favorite thing except that every time i get up into the car because i have to just step on the step you know i almost hit my head on it not great but that's probably just because of my height so guys this bucky with everything that it comes with and it's like specced to the hilt and like i say can do everything fuel consumption wise because i haven't mentioned that i mean i'm sitting at like 11 uh, liters per hundred k's, but you, it, I think it's claimed at like nine point something or whatever. Um, it's not too unusual. Um, but from a price point of view, so you're looking at like six hundred and ninety odd thousand. It's just under seven hundred thousand, brand new for this specific top top of the range P series model, and it really does have everything um, that all its rivals have. Um, and I, and again, you can't really deny that value for money. You're getting a five year, one hundred thousand kilometer warranty as well. Um, and again, it doesn't. You know, it's not without its maybe quirks so much as faults, but like quirks that might bug you. But I think when you when you want something like this and you're paying what you're paying for it, like you can overlook those in a way. I'm almost a thousand percent certain that a Ranger or Hilux or Suzy Van would never be caught dead in one of these or buying one of them. Um, and I get it, okay? I still get that. I don't think I would choose this over a Ranger or a Hilux or a Suzy if I had the money, right? But if you don't have the money and you really want a Bucky, I mean, I don't even have the money. I can't afford this one. But <laughs> hypothetically, people, 